Are you ready to ignite your fitness journey with strength and cardio power? Welcome to the ultimate fat burning fusion, where we combine the power of strength training and cardiovascular exercises to help you shed those extra pounds and build functional strength. Exercise is more than just about looking good. It's about feeling good, both physically and mentally. And when it comes to fostering that feel-good sensation, nothing beats the dynamic duo of strength training and cardio. This potent pair not only helps torch fat, but also builds muscle, enhancing your body's overall functionality and endurance. So what can you expect from our workout routine today? We will be diving into a 30 to 40 minute session that brings together the best of both worlds. We'll incorporate elements of calisthenics, work with elastic bands and dumbbells, and sprinkle in some plyometric activities. This blend of exercises is designed not only to keep you engaged, but also to keep you motivated and perspiring throughout the session. We'll start with a warm-up, gradually elevating your heart rate and preparing your muscles for the action ahead. Then, we'll dive into strength training, targeting key muscle groups with exercises like push-ups and squats. But that's not all. We'll also be introducing a cardiovascular blast, a high-intensity interval training segment designed to push your heart rate up and maximize fat burn. Finally, we'll tap into plyometric power with exercises like box jumps and burpees before cooling down with some stretching and deep breathing exercises. This workout is not just about fat loss. It's about building functional strength, improving your endurance, and kickstarting a fitness journey that can transform your life. So, are you ready to step up? Are you ready to challenge yourself? Are you ready to embrace a healthier, fitter version of you? If your answer is yes, then tie up those laces, grab your water bottle, and let's get started. Get ready to kickstart your fitness journey with this invigorating workout routine. Before diving into the heart-pounding action, it's crucial to warm up your body. Warming up is like revving up your engine, preparing your muscles for the workout that lies ahead. It boosts circulation, enhances mobility, and significantly reduces the risk of injury. So, let's get that blood flowing. Try light cardio activities like jogging in place or jumping jacks. Add in some dynamic stretches too. Think arm circles or leg swings. Now that you're warmed up, let's move on to the strength training segment. Push-ups, squats with dumbbells, and bicep curls with elastic bands are on the menu for our strength training segment. These exercises are specially designed to target different muscle groups and build functional strength. Let's start with the push-ups, a timeless staple in strength training. They primarily target the chest, shoulders, and triceps. You'll be doing three sets of 10 repetitions. If you're a beginner, don't worry. You can start with knee push-ups. As you build strength, you can progress to standard push-ups. Remember, it's not about how many you can do, but about performing each rep with proper form. Next on the agenda are squats with dumbbells. This exercise is fantastic for building strength in the lower body, specifically the quadriceps, hamstrings, and glutes. You'll be doing three sets of 12 repetitions. Hold a dumbbell in each hand at your sides and squat down as if sitting in a chair. Make sure your knees don't go beyond your toes and keep your back straight. This will help you maintain balance and avoid injuries. Lastly, we have bicep curls with elastic bands. This is a wonderful exercise to tone your arms. You'll be doing three sets of 12 repetitions. Step on the center of an elastic band, grab the ends with each hand, and curl it up. Don't forget to control the resistance on the way down. This eccentric phase of the exercise is just as important as the lifting phase for muscle growth. Strength training is a powerful tool for fat loss. It helps increase your metabolic rate, which means you'll continue to burn calories even after your workout. Moreover, it enhances your body's overall functionality and endurance, making daily tasks easier. Well done. Now let's move on to the cardiovascular blast. This is where we'll raise your heart rate, get you sweating, and maximize fat burn. So take a deep breath, hydrate, and get ready to push your limits. Get ready to push your heart rate up and maximize fat burn with a high-intensity interval training session. This is where we ignite the fire within and keep it blazing. Height workouts are all about performing exercises at a maximum effort for short intervals, followed by a brief rest period. 
This method is proven to boost your metabolism and keep you burning calories even after you've finished your workout. It's the epitome of work smarter, not harder. Our height cycle today is a combination of high knees and jumping lunges. High knees are like running on the spot, but with an extra kick. You'll want to lift your knees to hip level, engaging your core and pumping your arms as you go. It's a full body workout that gets your heart racing and targets your lower body and core. Jumping lunges, on the other hand, are a plyometric exercise that strengthens your lower body and improves your balance and coordination. You'll start in a lunge position, explosively jump into the air and switch legs before landing. Remember to keep your front knee over your ankle and your back knee should barely touch the ground. This exercise not only tones your legs, but also ramps up your heart rate for a cardio blast. Here's how it will go. You'll perform 30 seconds of high knees, then swiftly transition to 30 seconds of jumping lunges. This forms one cycle. You'll then rest for a brief period before diving into the next cycle. Repeat this for 10 minutes. The aim here is to push yourself. Remember, the more you push, the more calories you burn, but don't forget to keep your form intact. It's not about how fast you go, but how well you perform each movement. Great job. Now let's move on to the plyometric power segment. Box jumps and burpees are up next in our plyometric power segment. Plyometric exercises are all about explosive movements, challenging your body to exert maximum force in short intervals of time. They're fantastic for increasing strength, speed, and endurance, making them a crucial part of any well-rounded fitness routine. First up, we have box jumps. This exercise will require a stable platform or box. The goal here is to jump onto the box with both feet, then step or jump back down. We're aiming for three sets of 10 reps. The key to a successful box jump is in the landing. You'll want to land softly with a slight bend in your knees to absorb the impact and protect your joints. Box jumps are a fantastic way to work your legs, glutes and core while also getting your heart rate up. Next, we're moving on to burpees, a full body exercise that combines a squat, push up and jump into one dynamic movement. We'll also be doing three sets of 10 reps for this exercise. While burpees can be challenging, they're incredibly effective at burning calories, improving strength and boosting cardiovascular fitness. To protect your joints, make sure you're landing softly after the jump and keep your body aligned during the push-up phase. Remember, the beauty of plyometric exercises is in their intensity, not their duration. It's about quality, not quantity. So give each rep everything you've got, but also listen to your body. If you need to take a break or modify the exercises, that's perfectly okay. The most important thing is that you're moving, challenging yourself and having fun. Excellent work. Now let's cool down and stretch those muscles. Cooling down is a crucial part of any workout, helping to slowly lower your heart rate and reduce muscle stiffness. Plus, it's a great time to reflect on the hard work you've just put in. So take a deep breath, give yourself a pat on the back, and get ready for some well-deserved relaxation. Cooling down is just as important as the workout itself. After pushing your body to its limits, it's essential to take a few minutes to allow your heart rate to gradually return to its resting state. This helps to prevent dizziness, reduce post-workout soreness, and improve flexibility. A cool down consists of two parts, stretching and deep breathing. Let's start with some gentle stretching exercises. Begin with your legs as they've been working hard throughout this workout. Hamstring stretches, quad stretches, and calf stretches are all great options. Hold each stretch for about 20 seconds, but remember, it should feel good, not painful. Next, let's move to your upper body. Extend your arms out to the sides and slowly bring them across your body, one at a time to stretch your shoulders. Interlace your fingers behind your back and gently lift your arms to stretch your chest. Finally, reach your arms overhead, grab your right wrist with your left hand and gently lean to the left, then switch sides. Now, don't forget your core. Lay flat on your stomach and gently press up with your hands, arching your back to stretch your abdominal muscles. Remember, slow and steady is the key here. After stretching, it's time for some deep breathing exercises. Deep breathing helps to lower your heart rate and blood pressure, promoting relaxation. It's also a great way to reflect on your workout and acknowledge the effort you've put in today. Close your eyes, sit comfortably, 
and take a deep breath in through your nose, filling your lungs completely. Hold your breath for a few seconds, and then exhale slowly through your mouth, releasing all the tension. Repeat this a few times, focusing on the rhythm of your breath. Remember, cooling down should be a non-negotiable part of your workout routine. It may seem tempting to skip it when you're short on time, but it's crucial for your recovery and overall fitness progress. Remember, consistency is key in your fitness journey. Keep pushing, and you'll reap the rewards of a healthier, fitter you.